Hey there YouTube, this is DC7 here with a little something for you. We're doing a player's crate unboxing. If you don't know what this is, the lovely people at Darium CCGs hold a player's uh, loot crate, magic related, every month. And here I am to unbox and review the $40 player's crate. So without further ado, let's open this bad boy. If you want more information, I'll put everything that I can about it in the description below. And we'll see what we got. All right. Got ourselves a little... Yeah, that's a sticker. Sticker. The little manifest and morph tokens. Yay! Okay. We also have an 80 pack of KMC Hydra mats. Little letter from them. It says, Attention Planeswalkers, due to an influx of energy in the Aether, probably due to Sarkham returning to this timeline. Thanks a lot, Ugin. The life pads do not come in time to meet our shipping date. Aww. To make up for this, we'll send you two life pads in next month's crate. And you're terribly sorry for any inconveniences you, this may cause to your planeswalking. Sincerely, Team Derek. Eh, that's fine. Normally it would come with a little life pad, custom life pad. Alright. Uh, also got ourselves a Legion deck box. And two Journey into Nyx pre release kits. Which we will open right now. Let's, we can get ourselves a god pack from these. I believe it had a pack of Theros, so we can get ourselves a nice little Elspeth or possibility for a Thoughtseize. But we'll do this one first. They're both the same. Force and Pursuit. Don't care because we don't have pre release anymore. Got a Bow of the Hunter. Uh, promo Heroes Bane. Laka Laka. There's Vayne, Dictated Karametra, Fleet Feather, Spuff of Blow, Golden Hind, Things, Stuff. Nothing exciting there because it's a seated pack. Okay, we also got to die. And we'll go into the Journey into next packs. But yeah, if you don't think, if you think that they're just trying to make a profit, Obviously, they kind of are, but they do have a transparency video about all of their crate stuff, so you're really definitely getting your value here. I'll go right to the uncommons. Okay. We have a Spite of Mogus, Storm Chaser Chimera, Agent of Erebus, and a Twin Flame. Twin Flame is one in a red for a sorcery with Strive. Costs two in a red more to cast for each target beyond the first. Choose any number of target creatures you control. For each of them, put a token that's a copy of that creature onto the battlefield. Those tokens have haste, and exile them at the beginning of the next end step. Swamp and Hydra. All right. Uh, let's go to the next one. Okay. Okay. We have a Wildfire Cerebus. Cerberus. Colossal Heroics. Knowledge and Power. And an Eidolon of Blossoms. Excellent. Eidolon of Blossoms, if you don't know, is a 2-2 two, two for 2 and 2 green. Enchantment Creature Spirit with Constellation. Whenever it or another enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card. And we've got an island. Neat. Born of the Gods. Uh, let's get me a key aura. Or a Corsair Perfect Orb or Maz. I would love any of those. Okay, we have a Sky Reaping. Glimpse of Glimpse of the Sun God, Sanguimancy, and an Eater of Hope. Eating my hopes, man. Eater of Hope is a 6-4 for 5 and 2 black. Demon, flying. Tap a black to sacrifice another creature to regenerate it. Tap 2 and a black. Sacrifice 2 other creatures and destroy target creature. And another island. So I know the Theros block is a bit has been, but... Hey. I know, I know that they know that they had... So many during the next pre release packs left over. So, why not? 
Okay, we have a, in the Theros pack, we have a Vanquish the Foul, a Corona Hoplite, Fnatic Amogus, and a Triad of Fates. Triad of Fates. Two white and black for a 3 3 legendary creature, human wizard. One colorless, tap it, put a fake counter on another target creature. Tap white and a tap it, exile target creature that has a fake counter on it, then return to the battlefield under its owner's control. Black, tap it, exile the target creature that has a fake counter on it, its control draws two cards. We have a foil and dark betrayal. Neat, neat, neat. And it plans. And the last Theros pack out of this one. Eh. There we go. We have a Mogus' Marauder, Dark Betrayal, Sealock Monster, and a Heliod, God of the Sun. Heliod is three and a white for a five, six legendary enchantment creature god. It is indestructible. As long as your devotion to white is less than five, it's not a creature. And tap two and two white, put a two one enchantment cleric token into play. That is not the cleric token. All right, well, that's the first box. Over there. Open the next one. Yoink. Don't need to go through that again. And another Battle Hunter. You can go over here. Another Heroes Bane Seed Attack. Garg. Far. Go there. And it's. No. Here's from War Chief. Different one. I knew that. That's boring. Uh, another die. Let's go in black order this time. So Theros first. I also recommend you check out Darian CCG's YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll also put a link in the description below. Wonderful people. Just great personalities all around. And awesome content. We have a Destructive Revelry. Phalanx Leader. Coordinated Assault, and a Temple of Abandon, the Red-Green Scryland, and we have a Foil March of the Returned. Cool. Gotta love them Scrylands. Okay, go over there. Okay, we have an Ordeal of Heliod, Hunt the Hunter, Fanatic Amogus, and a Bone Seder. Boon Seder is 1 and 2 green for a 4 2 enchantment creature Seder with flash and bestow for 3 and 2 green. Enchanted creature, if you bestowed it, gets plus two, 4 plus 2. The mountain, and that's it. Don't know too born of the gods. So we didn't get an Elspeth or Thoughtsies. But that's alright. A lot of fun opening this. Alright. We have a Shrike Harpy, a Crowing Conscriptor, Fanatic Xenagos, and a Faded Infatuation. Triple blue instant. Put a token on the battlefield that's a copy of target creature you control. If it's your turn, scry two. It's plain and simple. Alrighty, moving on to journey into Nyx again. Okay, we have a Sightless Brawler, Leon and Iconoclast, Blinding Flare, and a Dictator of the Twin Gods. Dictator of the Twin Gods is 3 red red for an enchantment with flash. If a source would deal damage to a permanent or player, deals double that damage to that permanent or player instead. Got a swamp and a spider. And the last pack. Get that out of the way. Pay promotion. Not really good. I bought this. And I felt like opening it up for you guys. But again, check out Darium CCGs. I'll put um, the crate information down in the description below. If you're not into magic, they also have a Pokemon player's crate, and they also have a crate for basically card games that failed on the market, so the, called the deck crate. We have a Wildfire Cerberus, Nyx Weaver, Nyx Fleece Ram, solid, and a Mana Confluence, excellent. Uh, mana Confluence is a land, tap it, pay life, add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Cool, and an island. And that's all. For, that's all that she wrote. So, again, check out Darium CCGs. Information will be in the description below about the crates. Their channel will also be in the description below. Um, that's about it. So, if you like this video, comment, like, subscribe. I greatly appreciate it, and I'll see you again next time.